Continuing on with our series, uh, last time we talked about how Bitcoin is just like money and money has value. So where does Bitcoin get its value given how it just came from nowhere? So to understand where Bitcoin gets its value, we need to understand fiat currencies because these fiat currencies are not backed by any commodity like gold and Bitcoin has no gold backing it. So let's take a look at a, at a local example, the Zim dollar. It was a fiat currency since 1971 and people started using it in the country. But then at one point, the Zim dollar started to get printed more and the numbers started to increase up to $25 billion. So people gave value to this paper because they trusted the government. But the problem is the government ended up printing more. Now with Bitcoin, it's decentralized, meaning that no one controls it. And people love that. People value it because of that. They know that no one can just wake up and print more, which is another value, chain, uh, value point of Bitcoin, is that there's a fixed amount which was set by the creators. So there will only be 21 million Bitcoin ever circulating unless they change it. And second, people trade Bitcoin and they therefore give it value. So if, for example, if I buy Bitcoin for $5,000, I've given it value. If someone comes and they buy Bitcoin for $6,000, values is increased in value so bitcoin is given value by people just like fiat currencies but because it's decentralized the people value it more other qualities of bitcoin that give it value is that you can buy it in small portions so even though one bitcoin might be going for 4500 for example you might not have to buy that one Bitcoin at that price. So you can buy 0.0001 of a Bitcoin, which could even be worth like a dollar or something. So because there's that flexibility of how much you can buy, people love it. When trading Bitcoin or transacting with Bitcoin, it is anonymous. So it cannot be traced back to you. So if you are the type of person who wants to be private, wants to move money, you can do that. It is transparent. All the transactions are visible to everyone uh, through this thing that they call the blockchain and we'll take a look at that as we continue on with our series and it's trusted by leading experts so people who trust uh, will do cryptography and kinds of things they really trust it the people who started the bitcoin thing who are in the computing field they trust bitcoin and they really see value in it as it's solving some problems for people they're extremely low transaction costs so for example if you're going to be moving ten thousand uh, dollars via bitcoin it's going to cost you less than if you're going to do that in the normal fiat currency like United States dollars. Um, transactions are not reversible for Bitcoin. For people that might not be a good thing but merchants love it because there are no chargebacks so they won't get charged for reversing the transaction. However, Bitcoin is very volatile because of this, because its value comes from the people. Tomorrow, someone can buy one Bitcoin for $2,000 and everyone follows suit. And the value of Bitcoin can just drop like that or it can rise. But it's still maintaining its value because it's solving a big problem for people. What is the problem that it's solving? Let's take a look at that next.